All right, Heidi. Then we made it right in the nick of time. Realized my water bottle was nearly empty, so I had to run upstairs and get some more. Can't go into a snack stream without full water, or at least enough to you know get me through it. But hello, everyone, and welcome. Hope you've been having a good week so far. Tuesday, stuffing day. I know it's a bit early, but you know. Never too early to celebrate the delicious food that uh, us Americans get to enjoy in a couple days, coming up here on Thanksgiving. Uh, Goldie, let's chat. Of course. Ooh, we got it the first try once again. We love that. Once again, how's it going, everybody? I hope you've been having a good week. My name is Aiden Rixiage, your cursed portrait ex-monster hunting VTuber. And today, we're snacking. Snacking once again. Hmm. All right. Congratulations on claiming the VIP seat for this stream. The most prestigious of my channel point redeems, as there is only the one. I hope you've been having a good day. Welcome in. This is the November box that we got. Um, I believe. Snacking. I just brought dinner. That's probably good because most of the time these snacks are rather delicious, and you know, sometimes make uh, whoever's lurking hungry. <laughs> I also just ate. I, I'm, I quickly fried up some teriyaki chicken in a pan, threw it over some of my leftover Brussels sprouts, and had that as a quick, quick little something, just so I don't get tempted to devour all my snacks. Because what I'm planning on doing is once I sample these snacks, I'm going to pack them away, and I'm going to use them as travel snacks. For my traveling that's coming up in a couple days. I'm gonna go I'm gonna be visiting the United Kingdom. We are heading across the Atlantic or the Pacific, I suppose, depending on which way we're going. Uh to our neighbors on a little 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 island to the north of Europe. <laughs> Just as some basic geography. Yeah, I'm super stoked. Uh, I'm gonna be meeting up with a bunch of friends. Uh, we're going to be traveling around, you know, get to see some some pretty cool places, places that I didn't get a chance to way back in the day when I visited for the first time. Uh, me and my dad went to London back when my sister was studying abroad uh, way, way back. This was like. When was this? This was probably I think it was like 2008, 2009 era. So, you know, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm going back. I'm just going by myself. Uh, no family. Uh, going to meet up with some friends, as I said. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Going to go to Scotland. Drive around. Sample all the delicious food. Uh, I'm super excited to see Edinburgh. That's um, that's kind of like place number one because uh, my sister was. Like that was probably one of her favorite places that she visited. Uh, so she kind of hyped it up a little bit, and I I'm like low key. Uh, don't don't tell Taro. Uh, if she's like lurking, uh, Taro, go away. Um, but I I am I actually really like S Scottish stuff. <laughs> one of my favorite characters from uh, Samurai Jack is the Scotsman. Uh, even though he probably is a terrible representation of of scottish culture at least like nowadays maybe like way back in the day sure but nowadays absolutely not <laughs> but i always have a fondness for uh the language and all that good stuff um i believe it's it's gaelic is the uh official language right don't don't quote me on that. <laughs> Fact check me if if that's correct or not. If you're if you're curious, but I'm pretty sure it's Gaelic. Oh my eye! Oh god! I rubbed my eye for like a second to like help, and it just made it worse. Ooh. Got like a hair in it or something. Oh stop! I need my eyeballs to see the snacks that I'm eating. Or maybe not. Gaelic? Oh, nice. I remembered. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
So I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm excited to try haggis. Uh, get some legit, you know, fish and chips. Because I, believe it or not, have never had fish or chips. Uh, neither when we visited the first time or just over here in America. Because I, truth be told, despite the fact that I am 50% Asian, I never really had, you know, a taste for fish. Uh, wholly the fault of my parents, because my father was also the same. Despite the fact that he's 100% Asian, he didn't, he doesn't like fish. He's not a big fan of fish. So, we as a family never really ate fish for dinners. So I never really had a taste for it. I didn't grow up with it. And it wasn't until I was much older when I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start eating fish, because why not? So I'm I am trying to I'm branching out, expand my culinary horizons, as it were. Uh, although I suppose we were kind of lucky in that we didn't try fish or chips while over there for those reasons. Is my dad didn't care for it, and I also didn't care for it way back then. I was just kind of like, eh, I'm not really a big fan of fish, so I feel like it would be kind of a waste. But now I'm totally down to try it. Uh, my taste for fish is much, much better. Like, I actually enjoy certain fishy dishes. Um, and uh, funnily enough, the, there were some other people that we knew who were also visiting at the same time we were visiting London. And on their last day, they had some fish and chips and got super sick. <laughs> so maybe that was an omen. I don't know. Take pics of all my meals? Oh, absolutely. I'm going to be taking a bunch of pictures of places we go, uh, stuff that I eat. So keep an eye on, on the Twitter for uh, daily updates for things. Well, maybe not daily, but, you know, when, when there are things to be updated for. Uh, yeah, that being said, uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll throw that in there. <laughs> So uh, my Twitter, you can find on my card. Uh, definitely keep an eye on that through my travels, because I'll definitely be posting stuff. What we do, what we eat, what we see, some maybe souvenirs that I purchase, although I don't know what I would get, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. Maybe if I find like a, like a kooky, you know, specialty shop. Or, or antique store or something in, like, one of the markets in London or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's been a while since I've done any traveling. No thanks to COVID, which I suppose is fair. <laughs> we were, me and the roommates were meant to go back to Japan, like, last year? No, when, when, when were we planning on going back? I think we were planning on going like 20, was it 2020? When was the last time we went? It was like 2018, I think. Was it? Oh God, I don't remember when the last time I went to Japan was. It's been a while. Ooh, we may have been, we may have been the same year then. We may have been in Japan at the same time, possibly. I don't remember. I'll have to go back through my photos and try to figure out what year it was. But uh, we were meant to go again, like, kind of in the big swing of COVID. And then by that time, everything had, like, started closing down and all the borders were being locked up. So we were just like, okay, well, maybe we'll just, like rain check and we'll we'll bank it i think we were meant to go like 2020 and that's when it like really started kicking off so that's a big unfortunate uh situation but now that uh you know covid's kind of calmed down for the most part and it's more or less treated like the flu uh i guess just another version of the flu you know get those shots get those boosters all that jazz oh goodness the sore arms. Oh. I actually, truth be told, since the first, you know, uh, wave of vaccines had gone out, I actually haven't been vaccinated since. Uh, I still have my original vaccination card here in my wallet in case it was ever relevant, but I feel like at this point it isn't. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. 2021. 
So it's been two years. It's been well over two years since I got vaccinated. Um, my roommates have come down with COVID twice now. <laughs> and I still somehow haven't gotten it. So, you know, I'm just I, I'm just convinced that I am immune. That incredibly lucky. Either way, I'm not really worried about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am counting my blessings for that, for sure. I, when they were like, when my roommates told me, they were like, hey, tested positive for COVID. I was like, shit, is, is this the time? Is this the time? Do I just bite the bullet? Do I just like try to get it just so... You know, it's out of my, it, like, I, I built up that, like, somewhat immunity. I don't know. Maybe. Didn't get it. Maybe it helps that I, I didn't really come into contact with them all that much. I pretty much lived in my room for those days, you know, good quarantine uh, precautions. I have a different bathroom than they do. Hmm. Now that I think about it, there are quite a few variables that normally you'd come in a lot of contact with somebody of your household, but because of my specific living situation, I suppose that wasn't really a factor unless, unless my one roommate whose computer is also down here. Cause he all in his, his office. Um, we, the way our house is set up is we have our, we have the ground floor, which goes out into the street. And then we have, you go downstairs and there's like a subterranean level technically, cause we live on a hill type thing. Um, so my room is downstairs. I primarily use the downstairs bathroom, but one of my roommates has his computer set up down here and also his work stuff because he also works from home. Uh, so I don't think he was working all that much, but he was definitely gaming. And if at any point he went into my bathroom down here, then I could see it being a potential issue. But maybe he was conscious about this and instead of using my bathroom, he went upstairs to use his. I don't know. I didn't really notice, to be perfectly honest. It's wild. Uh, worked as an essential worker during the whole 2020s and whatnot. It wasn't until I went into the grocery store in 2023 that you got it. Really? That is crazy. Uh, that's how your room is? Half underground? Nice. That's subterranean life, baby. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's great when it's hot. It's kind of shitty when it gets cold because then it gets really cold <laughs> um it's like what is it noticeably cooler when you go down our stairs <laughs> hashtag sub life <laughs> submarine life uh sub sandwich life uh you you know sub to me that's uh you that also works <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. I have a plethora of jackets and coats and robes that I can drape myself in and bundle up and get all nice and toasty warm. That's the great thing about being cold is you can always add more layers. That's why I like the cold. <laughs> Can't do that with the heat. Mm-mm. As much as I know it's kind of your namesake, Ray, I am not a big fan of the tropics. <laughs> Are you bringing a compact umbrella to the UK? Mm, I could. I do have a spare. I could easily fit that in my luggage, and I don't think they would have much issue with it. Hmm. I'm going to have to hit up my uh, friend who I'm meeting over there and see what the weather's like for the week, because they should know. Um, although I suppose UK weather is kind of unpredictable a lot of the time, and it'll be like, oh yeah, it, it probably won't rain, and then you, you just get rain the entire day, kind of thing. Not surprising. Uh, I remember, I do remember when I was visiting last time, uh, me and my dad would... Well, at least my dad would check the weather and be like, okay, it's probably not going to rain. There's a good chance it won't, and then it, it did. Or they predicted it would rain a little bit, 
and then maybe it didn't for a good long while and then it kind of sprinkled on us it's it, it comes and goes so i don't know i'm definitely bringing a jacket a nice thick warm jacket because it is kind of that time of year where it's it's a little chilly especially over there because i'm much further north than i am uh if i know my geography correctly <clears throat> kind of different because you know they are eight hours around <laughs> whatever that translates to in in miles or kilometers oh boy i'm not too horribly worried um i'm fairly well traveled uh parents kind of saw to that as a young as a youngin they they kind of took us kids all over the place <laughs> Plus, as I've, I've mentioned, I, I have traveled to Japan a couple times. A few times now, actually, at this point. Uh, first time was with the parents. I was super young. Although, I guess, I suppose that doesn't really count. Because I didn't do anything. I just was kind of dragged along and uh, went, <laughs> was just there for the ride, more or less. But um, I, I have gone uh, with a roommate and then with uh, a group of friends. Um, just by ourselves a couple times so i'd I'd say that's more uh I, i'm a little bit more used to kind of making my way around in a foreign country especially one that doesn't particularly speak our language but we managed so you know going to a, an english-speaking country i'm i'm not particularly worried because it, it's very easy for me to just walk up to somebody and, and ask if i need anything not not as easy in Japan. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> it's going to be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to have a bunch of snacks for the plane. It's kind of a uh, good, uh, I guess, timing that my box came in when it did. It came in yesterday, actually. And I was like, oh. Well, I know what I'm going to stream tomorrow. <laughs> and then while I'm sitting here thinking about it, I was like, ooh. I could take a lot of these on the plane with me, probably, just so I'm not starving, because I ain't buying airport food. It's the biggest scam in in existence. I swear to God, I always like the last couple of times I've been like, oh, it's it won't be that bad. And then I, I mistakenly am like, ah, I'll just get something and then I regret it. <laughs> like the last time I was traveling uh, in October. <clears throat> when I went to go see my family uh, down in California, or we were meeting up in California, but I, I was like, I'll just get something to eat breakfast wise at the airport. I'll just get something small, something easy, you know, something that surely won't be too expensive. I was thinking, OK, that that looks like it'll probably be like ten, eleven dollars, which isn't great. I got a breakfast burrito at a Pete's coffee in the airport and. I was like thinking to myself, yeah, that, you know, it's it's not going to be great, but it won't be that bad. Stupid thing was like $17. I was livid. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, it was not that big either. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Uh, it, it looked size wise. It was about... It was about the size of, of like a frozen breakfast burrito you would find like in a supermarket. Um, I, 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 ugh. <laughs> welcome, Mitsuki. Welcome, welcome. Hope you've been having a good Tuesday. We're just talking food and travel. So I'm going to be traveling soon. It's going to be a good time. Uh, this Thursday, actually, I'm traveling on Thanksgiving. That should be interesting. I've never traveled on a holiday. Uh, usually it's like a couple days either before or after a holiday, which I suppose is a bit more normal, but, uh, I guess I'm not technically traveling for said holiday, so it kind of doesn't matter because I'm going to the UK and they don't celebrate Thanksgiving because, you know, it's, a, it's an American thing. <laughs> um, ooh, you know, that's a good question i feel like the airport wouldn't be that horribly busy on the day three for international yeah i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna be there mm, 
Let's see, when is my flight actually? Uh, okay, it's... Oh wait, I have my P I have a PDF of my travel itinerary. One second. When actually is when do I leave? Uh wait. Here to here. Okay. That's not too horribly bad. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh I'm leaving like mid afternoon, so it I, I it wouldn't be too bad. Um I think I think one of my roommates will be able to take me to the airport, uh, since it's not too early. Yeah, I would I would imagine like the the couple days leading up to it would be way worse because, you know, people wanna be in their location so that by the time said holiday, that being Thanksgiving, rolls around, you know, it's actually, they're, or, they're already in their location. Um, and since I am traveling international, also, the airport where I live is pretty quick. They've, they've upgraded their, um, what you call it, their security checkpoint to make it fairly automated, which is pretty nice. Uh, when I was traveling in October, it was pretty busy, but it only took me about 20 minutes to get through security, I want to say. <clears throat> I'm always expecting it to take me way longer, but it hasn't the last few times. And that's going to bite me in the ass at some point. But yeah, who knows? Morning's probably way busy. Yeah, yeah it might be. I should probably leave a little extra early just to be safe. Got to make sure uh, all my uh, pertinent devices are are charged and ready to go. ADM TCA pre-check. Ah, yeah. Yeah, my uh, <laughs> my family keeps pestering me to like potentially get that. But oh, why are you like suddenly way louder? Music that was weird. But I honestly don't travel all that much. It's like maybe once every couple years, if that. Uh, or or it's not very far, to be honest. Like a four-ish hour flight, maybe. So I, I never really found it worth it because just it's never been a problem like going getting through security and getting to my flight on time although there was time where i kind of got engrossed a little bit too much into a web comic and i may have missed my my flight by a little bit uh yeah that was a that was kind of a bummer <laughs> it's a mistake i shan't be making ever again though trust you and me uh yeah i had my i had my headphone both headphones in uh, that was probably the big, the big, like, no, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have had both earbuds in. I, I should have only had the one. And I was just kind of, you know, I was just listening to music, just reading my webcomic. Um, and I, I just got super into it. Um, and then when I noticed the time, it was like right when my flight was leaving. So I was like, oh shit, my flight. And I like walk up to the podium and they're like, oh no, the gate's closed. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> Because I kind of hate this, but it doesn't, it's not, it's not your flight time. Like, it's not the departure time that you want. It's, <clears throat> it's always like 20 or 30 minutes before that. It's, it's the load time. That's the one you really want to pay attention to. And I don't know why, but I didn't really like, it didn't really quite hit me. Right. I was always like in my brain, I was like, oh, the plane hasn't left yet. It's fine. I like if I'm on time, it's fine. No, it's not fine. It's the yeah, the boarding time is the time that you want to pay attention to, not the departure time, because by then it's too fucking late. <laughs> you got to be on. You got to be there at the gate before 100 percent. Otherwise, they're going to leave your ass behind. And I had to wait like another hour for the next flight. It was a big bummer. But now that's been in as burned into my brain and uh, yeah, I'm much more, you know, on it. So 
good for me, I guess. You know, it wasn't like a wholly terrible experience. I definitely don't want to do it again because I hate the airport. I hate sitting there. I it always feels like I'm just wasting away. Also, I don't know. People are gross. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I'll be like sitting at the airport and yeah, it like someone walks by and they definitely haven't showered in like a couple days and I'm just like, "Bro, you're going into a metal tube." Packed with a bunch of people, you don't think that that's going to be off-putting to someone. Like, come on, be a little conscious about your like where you are. And there have been a couple times where I've sat next to one of those people, so I I definitely make sure before I leave for the airport I am showered and I smell pleasant because sitting in a plane for several hours next to somebody who's stanky is not a good experience for anyone. For anyone. It's it's very, very similar to like concert etiquette, you know, uh, which is funny because the last concert I went to, they actually pointed that out. <laughs> there was a little like PSA where they were like, ah, be sure, you know, you're not stinky because you're packed in with a bunch of people and nobody wants to smell B.O. So don't do it. I mean, you know, there were still people who did it because like. I was sitting in the bleachers and I could I could definitely it, to be fair, though, you know, it does get a little hot in there and people do sweat. So it, let's just give benefit of the doubt and just say, you know, maybe they just forgot to wear deodorant, which happens. Maybe next time they'll be a little bit more health conscious. In any case. Enough talk of travel. Now we talk of snacks. <clears throat> let's get into it. Let's break open this box. Now that I'm not like super hungry, I won't be tempted to just like devour all of these, all of these delicious snacks. Oh, also, welcome in, puppy. <laughs> I meant to say hello when you when you claimed your your concessions. How's it going? I hope you've been having a good day. We're eating snacks. We're eating snacks. Here's the box. There's all the snacks. I'm just going to put it to the side over here so I have space to do business. Let's see. We have, it's the Mount Fuji Snack Venture today. I don't know what that means, I guess. Well, I do know that there are a bunch of like parks and stuff around Mount Fuji that do have their own kind of specialty things. <laughs> How's it going, Belzy? Yeah, we're going to Fuji, apparently. We're going to Fuji, we're gonna sample all the local snacks and cuisine that are nearby. Yeah, uh, I know I don't use this model a whole lot, um, but I do have, yes, I do have a 3D model. Look at this, look at this. I can turn around. I can, oop, sorry, hold on. Better, better, instead of me actually, you know, turning around, I can just, I can just, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, nope, that's not it. Ah, here we go. Oh, wait, there we go, look at that. Oh, I'm behind it. Full 360! I have shoes. Yeah, look at them shiny shoes. Oh, so spicy. Um, eventually, if I decide to get hand tracking, this this model is rigged to track hands. Uh, so yeah, that's exciting. But that's that's something for later. <clears throat> yeah. No, I, I there's a reason why I don't use this model like a whole lot, or especially lately. Um, let me scooch in just a little bit more here too much too much it's very sensitive there we go it is in order to do all the the stuff that i want with it um i gotta have two extra programs running on my pc and you know depending on what i'm doing right those extra programs that's that's resources i'm using that's CPU, that's graphics, you know, all that jazz that bogs down your computer and uh, can potentially uh, mess with your stream. So I, I try to only throw this model on when I know I'm doing something that won't just blow up my computer. 
and the last few games that I've been playing have been Cyberpunk. So it kind of makes it a little difficult because Cyberpunk is a really chunky game. I've mostly been just sticking with uh, the Live 2D because that's a little easier. Although, I always forget, I got I to gotta turn on my actual... Because uh, I do have some specific redeems for this model. Okay, there we go. I meant to do that before when I was setting up. Okay, so the the channel point redeems have been updated. I've removed all the ones revolving around my Life 2D model, just so you, you don't accidentally redeem one. And I've added the ones that uh, revolve around this one. So yeah. <clears throat> anyway, Mount Fuji. Let's see, what do, what do they say? It's fall, yes, or autumn, in case you're from the UK slash Europe. Y'all, it's fall, y'all. Why, why, why? Who, who speaks like that in Japan? No one, guaranteed. That is definitely an American thing. Uh, now that the weather's cooling down, we are super excited to bring you the tasty Japan journey through our Mount Fuji themed box. Just a short two hour bullet train ride away from Tokyo sits the most epic landmark in Japan, Mount Fuji. And it's got so many amazing snacks and treats just waiting to be discovered. Uh, we want to bring the taste of the fruity umami and sometimes even spicy flavors that are famous around Mount Fuji. So pack this box full of our favorite treats, uh, pack your bags, grab your trade ticket, and get ready. Sick. Yeah, um, in no short part, thanks to Yuru Camp. Wait. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Shoot. That redeem might not be fully fleshed out. I apologize. Wait. Ugh. How do I do this again? I have completely forgotten how I look at my... Oh my god, what? Settings. No. Redeem settings. There we are. Okay, a little, little peek behind. Okay, I'm going to put this back here so you can't really see anything. Don't worry about it. I'm just... Uh... Wait. Yes, yes. Yes. Wait. What does this do? Oh. Oh, shoot. I haven't fully fleshed out that redeem. Nope. It's there. I just haven't decided. Oh, man. Why, why did I do that? Why do I do this? I forgot to finish it. Idiot. Let me, let me, let me throw those points back at you. That's my bad. I should turn that one off. Uh, let me go back in here. I need to go back and actually, you know, make that, uh, make that a thing. Fix it. Jesus. Thousand points. I just, holy. Get into here. Uh, 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 where is it? There it is. Take those points back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, aside from the spontaneous rave, because I forgot where I was going with that, and I need to go back in and kind of have a think about uh, what that redeem actually does. Hold, now I'm now I'm concerned that all my other redeems don't work. Hold on, hold on. Before anybody does anything, you get a free retro. Maybe. Why does this one not work? Okay, apparently they're all broken. Love that. Okay, ignore all the redeems that I just added because they're all broken and I don't know why. Cool, we love this. Oh, I hate it. I'm just gonna turn them off. I'm just gonna turn them off. They worked before. <laughs> well, okay. That's, that's actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a note real quick, hold on. Fix my 3D model redeems. I wonder if it's because I haven't updated the software in God knows how long. Ooh, that might be it. That might be why they're all broken. I may need to uh, update some things. My bad. Goodness gracious me. What a mess. 
what an absolute mess. At the very least, we're gonna have some delicious snacks. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we're starting out with the Kit Kat. Um, oh, it looks like there's... It's not giving me... It's not... I don't know which Kit Kat it is. Apparently, there could... There, it's, it's giving me a couple that it could potentially be. What did we get? What is this? I don't know what flavor this is. No! I'm guessing it's it's chocolate and matcha tea, though. That's what it looks like. Here's the here's the bag. It looks like matcha and. Belzy. <laughs> Belzy. <laughs> really? <laughs> Uh, you know what would cleanse the palate of the next stack? Honey hot sauce. Honey. Really? You're gonna make me eat my honey hot sauce right here? <sighs> cleanse the palate? I haven't even eaten anything yet. Do you want this before or after the hot sauce? Or before or after the snack? Oh, wait, no, no, no. You're saying cleanse the palate for the next snack. Got it. Okay, so before I eat this matcha dark chocolate um, Kit Kat, you want me to imbibe some spicy honey. Okay. Uh, I don't have a spoon on me, so I'm actually using the fork from my dinner as a, as a makeshift device. There it is, a nice little dollop of golden spicy deliciousness. Cheers, chat. <coughs> oh yeah. <coughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, that's spicy. The cooling tones of of, ma of matcha and <coughs> and dark chocolate. Yep. At least I, I I assume it's dark chocolate. Oh god. Hold on. There's a QR code. There's a QR code that I can scan. Hopefully, hopefully it'll uh, direct me to what this actually like actually is. So we're not guessing. Let me let me give it a quick scanny do here. Oh god, that was a big dollop. I probably shouldn't have used that much. Oh, spicy but manageable. Spicy but manageable. Yo, what's up? Bro, there was a chocolate cake and strawberry one I could have gotten. Oh. Strawberry chocolate cake. Oh, man. Lucky Daifuku. Melon. Peach. Banana caramel. We've had that. We've had the chocolate orange. Ah, oh, here we go. The double matcha original chocolate. That's what it is. How's it going, Tree Taps? Welcome in. Uh, There's the... Let's see. Phone. What are you doing? Oh, it was completely blown out. Uh, there you go. You can kind of see it there. Okay. Oh, man. There were a bunch of cool flavors. Oh, I would have... Oh, man. Oh, I'm so sad that I looked now. Deep Uji green tea. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <sighs> Strawberry chocolate cake, though, dudes. Uh, that's okay. Oh, yep. That's definitely matcha. It has such a distinct scent. If you've never had matcha before, um, it's very bitter. If you don't, because I, okay, so there is, there is a difference between matcha green tea and then just like normal green tea. And that is wholly based on how bitter it is. Normal green tea, it's, it's fairly mild, I would say, as far as, you know, tea goes. It's not super bitter, but it's not really sweet either. It's, it's very in the middle. Matcha green tea is, is, Definitely, like, you're gonna feel it. It's, it's gonna bite back, uh, depending on, like, how much. Usually it's not too bad. Uh, I feel like Japan is, you know, or the Japanese, are, are pretty on the ball when it comes to their flavoring of, of stuff and, like, the levels. So I, I am pretty certain that this isn't gonna be, like, super overpowering, but... Oh, milk chocolate? Mmm. 
and I am kind of a fan. Um, matcha and chocolate together, I, I actually really enjoy. So here's the bar. You can kind of see it. it is green. If that's weird to see a green Kit Kat, well, there it is. <laughs> Bong up. Hmm. Yep. That's a matcha Kit Kat. And it's just enough of both, I would say. Ooh, that that actually does. That actually does help. <laughs> that actually pairs rather nicely with the honey. Oh, 100 percent. No, this one, this one is actually really good. I I'm really enjoying these. Uh, in comparison to the last Kit Kats that we got in our last box, which were sweet potato Kit Kats, um, very strange. I kid you not. And they didn't. Okay. I'm I'm hesitant to say they they tasted of sweet potato because it was like super subtle. It was super subtle and you could really only taste it like it, it was more of an aftertaste than you know a forefront taste. The uh, sweet potato ones. This one, this one you definitely like matcha, you will get immediately. So if you're not a fan, maybe not for you. Maybe not for you, but I like matcha and I like chocolate. So these are delicious. Definitely going to be saving these. Definitely going to bring these with me on my travels. Mm. Delicious. Okay, I'm getting the sense that we're going to be getting a lot of tea related snacks because the next one is the Mount Fuji green tea cake. What's that look like? Ah, here we go. Is this one of those big ones? I think it's like one of the... Look at the packaging on this bad boy. Look at that. Beautiful. You, like, if I saw this in a grocery store, do you think anyone would think, oh yeah, that's a, that's a tea cake. You know, that's, that's, that's something sweet. And well, maybe not sweet because it is a, it's a green tea cake. But I, I would look at this and I would think that looks like a, that's like a, a bag of cough drops or mints, right? That's what that looks like to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, totally. It's a green tea, uh, boche. Boshi? Boche? I think this, I think it's French. Um, top five favorite clips I've caught this year. Wait, what, what do you mean? What clip? What clip? What are you clipping me? Cooling tones of matcha. <laughs> So this comes from the Shizuoka Prefecture, which is right next to Mount Fuji. It is the home of the best green tea in Japan and the world. Damn. Damn. That's a flex. All right, Shizuoka Prefecture. If you say so, I guess we'll see. Open this bad boy up. Come on. Okay, this one I might not be able to take with me because it's, I, I think it is one of those, like, once you open it, you kind of have to eat the whole thing situations. Oh, yeah. It is, it is a singular, singular thing. But there it is. The green tea cake. It is very bready. I imagine the, uh, the interior, it does look like a little bit of a sandwich. It's got some of that, uh, that delicious green tea, uh, what you call it? like jam or filling or or what have you. You know, this makes way more sense. Hold on. Let me let me move OBS. I had OBS on my other monitor like looking. So I was I was always looking over here to make sure you could actually see it on the monitor. I'm I'm now moving it to my main monitor. I don't know what I was doing. I I forgot that I know <laughs> that is what I normally do. It's been a while, okay? But uh ah, that's got a nice scent to it. Hmm. What do I? It's sweet. A sweet scent, yes. I can't really smell the green tea, which is kind of surprising. Because green tea, green tea usually has kind of at least a little bit of a scent to it. But I can't really smell this. Well, eh. bottoms up chat.
Mm. Okay. Okay. You can kind of see it. There's there's that green filling. Mm. This is this isn't matcha. Even though I said matcha, you know, matcha green tea, green tea, they're different. Okay, this is much more of the the more subtle green tea flavor. It's not very bitter, but it's not it's also not very sweet. It's it's incredibly mild, but it does complement the the sweet like bun, this this bready stuff. It goes it's very good with it. Again, if you're not really if you're not really a big fan of green tea, maybe skip this box. Cuz I have a feeling there's going to be more green tea related stuff. Maybe. Actually, there there might only be these two things. And I guess to be fair, there are several different types of Kit Kats you can get. So maybe you'll get lucky and you'll get a different type. But we got the green tea one and then also the green tea like broche. What is this? Tea cake? We got the green tea cake. It's good though. I'm going to eat this. Mm. Another bite. I'll finish that later. That'll be my dessert. Mm. Mm. I'm loving that though. That's brilliant. Now I've kind of God. I always, I always say most of the time when I'm doing this, I wish I had like some tea to go with it, and I always forget. What do we got next? We got the Tokyo Treats Crunchorific Chips. No adventure is complete without snacks, so we're sending some chips from our faves list. All right, what what chips though did I get? Oh, this is a big old bag of chips. Ah, some potato chips. The size of this bag, All right? It barely fits on camera. Ooh, let me lower it down. Hand for scale. <laughs> it's a big old bag. It was at the bottom. I had to dig it out. This is another one of those where, like, uh, it, I guess it was a potential, a bunch of different ones. So let me let me scan it just so I know what flavor I'm dealing with here. If I had to guess, hmm, just based on the packaging and the look of it, maybe wasabi flavored chips. I don't know. Maybe they're just plain potato chips. All right, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Nope, nope. I am. I am literally getting all the green tea. It is. I kid you not. They are. They are matcha. Come on, phone, phone, phone. Brightness. Okay, it's 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 not going. It doesn't. It doesn't. Just just trust me. Okay, they're the matcha green tea potato chips. Goodness gracious. Japan's favorite green tea was made its way to savory snacks. Seasoned with green tea from Shizuoka Prefecture, land of green tea, you can enjoy a rich, refined flavor in this fun snack form. It really is, Belzy. I think you, you've called it here. An American-sized bag. Yeah. With just as much air in it, no doubt. Ooh, there we go. Nice. There's the inside. You can see, mostly air, but <coughs> it is what it is. Mm. Doesn't really smell like green tea. Again, I feel like this is going to be the more subtle green tea flavor. There's a chip. Pretty innocuous, pretty, you know, it just looks like a chip. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I honestly can't really taste any of the green tea flavor. It more or less just tastes like a salted potato chip. I don't know. 
like mm, maybe maybe it's very subtle japanese green tea air yeah you're right it is it is japanese air laced with the smells of green tea <laughs> Oh, and a spicy bean. Bowser, you do me dirty. <laughs> All right, I suppose we've had too many, uh, you know, soft snacks. Stay there. All right. Hear it, chat? It's the rattling of the spicy beans. I can't really randomize these as well as the other ones, so I just kind of like shake it up and then hope that I just get a single bean. Try not to look. Which one is this? Which one is this? Well, I got a red bean, so whatever this one is. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. I got a red bean. I don't think it's the super spicy one. I think it's just sriracha. So, uh, cheers, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely sriracha. That's not too bad. Oh, we lucked out, boys. If that had been the Carolina Reaper one, whoo! We would have been in it. <clears throat> I would have I would have pounded that cake, that tea cake, <laughs> right into my face. <laughs> Damn beans, you did us dirty. Hey, hey, it's it's the will of the beans. Listen, think of it this way, Belzy. The more the more like non-lethal beans that I get in a row, that just means the more shit I'm gonna die beans that I'm gonna get in a row later down the line. It's it'll come full circle. Uh, so our next snack, now that we've had kind of a, a spicy interlude, is uh, the Mount Fuji sandwich cookie. Let's see, ooh, okay, that's not the sandwich cookie, but I'm looking forward to whatever this is. Where's my where's my sandwich cookie? Oh, there it is. All right. This kind of looks like <laughs> the packaging on this one. It kind of looks like like tissues, right? Like like a like a just a, a single use like tissue pack, right? Or, or um like a wet wipe. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate. As a citizen of the UK, I feel betrayed by my bean fate. No, 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 no. Don't you worry. Mm, delicious lemon wipes. Yes. Oh, that's adorable. It's a it's a little Mount Fuji looking uh, cracker, like a cookie, like sandwich cookie. So um, let's see, what is the what does the thing say? Mount Fuji may be a tough hike, but these cute cookies are nothing but a fun delight. Ooh, nice. We got a rhyme there. Buttery, crunchy cookies are mildly sweet with a creamy white chocolate center. Ooh, OK, OK. Butter cookie with white chocolate center. Oh, this would go amazing with some tea. Damn it. Again. All right. Bottoms up, chat. Hmm. Good crunch. Good crunch. Very buttery. Hmm. Can't really taste the white chocolate, but it's a good, it's a good cookie. It's a solid little butter cookie. Yeah, those would go really well with tea though. 100%. Hmm. I'm always I'm always sad when they only give you like the one, right? Like bag of chips, sure. I can I can savor this for like a couple snack sittings. 
or just eat them all in one go. The Kit Kats, you know, those are good. Like, those will last me a good long while. But then when they give you, like, the single cookie, and it's actually, like, really good, and you're just like, damn it. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and um, Costco will will <laughs> will have a bag of those like they did the um, what was it? The, the Black Thunder chocolate cookie for Halloween. One can only hope, right? OK, next we got chunky chocolate almond bites. Let's go. That is a very American sounding snack. All right. Packaging here looking pretty clean. Very nice. Good crunch. Ooh, these are these are uh, lotte chocolates or or lot lot. I never know how to pronounce that. It's there in the corner. Lotte, lotte. I think it's lotte. But I I, I like this brand of chocolate. Uh, I've had it several times before. Um, usually just gotten like the chocolate bars. I don't think I've had their their little crunchy bites and i'm generally not a big nut guy but i don't mind it horribly if it's like with something else like if it's in chocolate not a big deal but okay god this looks like something my grandma would eat <laughs> or no, no 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 this looks like uh this looks like uh like movie movie theater candy you know something you'd find in like one of the movie theater it's very shiny it's very smooth too the, um, what do you call it? The sheen? Like, the process that they, they went through to make these, these little chocolates, uh, so they don't, they don't melt in your hand. That's what it is. It's got that, like, it's got that coating on it where you can hold on to it and it won't start melting. Unlike the Kit Kats. Like, the Kit Kat, I had that in my hand and I was just holding it. I could, I could tell it was melting in my hand. Like, as I was holding it right here in front of the camera, I was like, my hands are starting to get a little sticky. But this, I'm rubbing my fingers all over this bad boy. And I, I ain't feeling that. So, these are nice. These are nice just to have. Okay, smells like chocolate, yes. I used to think you didn't like peanuts because of the taste, but I think it turns out just have a very small peanut allergy. Ooh, yeah, those are no good. Those are no fun. That's by far one of the worst peanut allergies because it's kind of like, you can't, you can't really like just accidentally have peanuts, like depending on the severity, I suppose. Um, if it's not too bad, it's probably way less, but I do know like people who have it fully, it's just like, it can't even be around it. Just the scent of peanuts can turn, can like cause a reaction, which is, I would hate that. Almonds aren't something I associate with Japanese snacks. Yeah, that's why I was kind of like, when I when I read it, like chunky chocolate almond bites, I was like, this is the most American sounding snack. <laughs> like, I could see this in like a grocery store, 100%. So let's give it a bite. Mmm. That's some dark chocolate flavor. Holy. Okay. Hold on. Oh, no, it's coffee. That's what it is. Okay. I got fooled. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, that is that's totally coffee. Um, let me let me let me read the thing. Hold on. Uh, this almond chocolate treat is a real peak flavor experience. Seek your teeth into a sweet blend of different flavors. Creamy milk chocolate, a hint of coffee, and crunchy almond. Oh my god. I was not expecting there to be coffee in that. Holy. I thought that was just like a really dark chocolate. These are tasty, though. Mmm. Now, generally speaking... I'm not a big fan of coffee. Like, by itself, not really my thing. I'm definitely much more of a tea drinker um, in that regard. But adding a dash of coffee into stuff, like desserts or candies, 100% for that. I, I love the little, like, just that little dash of extra flavor. Um, if that's all I'm eating, though, uh, I, I'd rather pass.
you know, if that's like the, the focus, but if it's like on the side, you know, if it's it's there to complement the snack, then I'm all fucking for it, man. Hmm. These are good. I like those. If you couldn't tell, I've eaten like four of them. <laughs> we gotta save them. We gotta save them. That'll be a good, that'll be like a good plain snack. Hmm. For sure. All right, let's see. What do we got next? We got the Deca Vita Vitamin C Drink. Ooh, our beverage. Let's see. Beverage, where are you? Stop hiding. There you are. Ooh, an orange drink. Look at that. <laughs> Honestly, this this looks like it kind of looks like an energy drink. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this looks like something I would I would find at like a what do you call it? A, con a convenience store or a konbini in Japan for like quick energy. But apparently it's just um oh. Maybe I should read the thing before I, you know, make my assumptions. Uh, but in this case, I was right. This is a popular energy drink and what we need to get through the day of hiking Mount Fuji. This refreshing and light citrusy flavor is best enjoyed chilled. Luckily, I live somewhere cold, so it's already chilled. I don't really need to do anything. But, um, yeah, I guess this is an energy drink of sorts. Ooh, wait, should I be drinking this now? It's kind of late. I'm going to be suffering later. Ah, fuck it. I'll just do jumping jacks before I go to bed. That'll burn the energy, right? Hmm. What's that smell like? Definitely. I can smell the citrus. I can smell the orange for sure. What does that remind me of, though? Hold on. It kind of reminds me of like Sunkissed. If you if you've ever had Sunkissed, I know it's a very I think that's a very American soda. So uh, sorry, any any uh, Europeans in the chat or um, <laughs> from anywhere else in the world. I think Sunkissed is primarily, but it, it's it it smells very similar to that. You know what I'm talking about. All right, let's have a swig. Cheers, chat. That's rather pleasant. It tastes orangey, but not overpoweringly so. It's got that nice carbonation. Mmm. That is tasty. I'm probably going to be feeling this a little later. <laughs> Energy drinks usually take, like, a tiny bit to kick in for me. So we'll see if like 20 minutes from now, I'm suddenly talking like twice as fast. You'll know it's hit me. <laughs> but that's tasty. That's a very nice, very smooth. Citrusy beverage. You know, it doesn't taste like super artificial because I know it says it's an energy drink, right? So. When I think of energy drink, I have a very distinct flavor that comes to mind. If you've ever had like a Red Bull or like a Monster, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, most energy drinks have that very distinct kind of, I, I don't really know how to describe it flavor wise, but they have their own very distinct flavor. This, I'm not getting any of that from. Uh, if, if this is meant to be an energy drink, it doesn't taste like an energy drink. I'll just leave it at that. Ooh, but it's good. I enjoy it. So if I had like a case of these and it brings me energy in a little bit, I'd be, I'd be down. Let's see, where are we now? We have an ice cream candy DIY kit. Excuse me. We couldn't send you ice cream from Fuji Q, so we're sending you this fun DIY kit instead. All you have to do is add two teaspoons of water, mix well, and voila! Oh shoot! 
This one ha wants me to do things. Okay, hold on. Oh, interesting. I just need to add water? All I have to add is two teaspoons of water and mix well. Well, okay. Well, we can do that. We can do that. Hold on. Let me open it and see what we're working with here. If all I need is just like a touch of water, yeah, we can do that. That's easy to do. I'll be sure not to break any of the... Okay. Huh! Interesting. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. So, it comes with three very tiny cones these are i love these this is a this is um this is awesome <laughs> these are these are so cute okay so i have three little cones i have the world's smallest spoon <laughs> look at this bad boy I, it's kind of hard to see but it's it's tiny and then i assume i'm supposed to put the water in this tray that they gave me and then mix it in with this powdery stuff? Let's see. If I look at the instructions, it says to put this bag of innocuous white powder into that, add some water, mix, and then I can scoop it out. Okay. Uh, let me go get a few tablespoons of water. I'm gonna leave these here. Perfect. Yeah, we can do this. Uh, let me just get some water. Real quick, I'll be right back. Ooh, actually, no, I'm stupid. I have water. Idiot, it's right here in a big bottle. I don't have to go anywhere. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at this. I'm glad I refilled my water bottle. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be using it to make tiny ice creams. All right, chat. Live on stream, I'm going to make a bit of ice cream. Hello. Welcome in. I'm making tiny iced creams. Look at look at how small these cones are. Look at this. <laughs> I have three of them. I'll make you one. Hey Zim, welcome in. Eh, stay, stay. You know what? Fine. Be like that. Okay. Let's see if I can eyeball two. What is it? Tablespoons. What did it say? Hold on. Oh, two teaspoons. Oh, shoot. That's not that's not a lot at all. OK. All right, chat. I'm going to either royally fuck this up or we're going to nail it. OK, a teaspoon, a teaspoon. One, two. OK, that should do it. I think I think I think we're hoping for the best. Give it a little mix. We're mixing up this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that, we're getting a nice foam. It's getting very frothy. This, this white <laughs> foamy mixture. God, what am I mixing on stream? What is this? <laughs> give it, give it some more. Give it, give it a good mix. I have no idea how this is going to taste. I have never had anything like this. This is so bizarre, but also kind of fun. You know? Okay, hold on. It's kind of hard to hold it out that far. Ooh. Both. 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 Both is good. What is both? Wait, what are we bothing? Hold on. Let me. Oh my God, thank you. Uh, thanks for redeeming your concessions. Don't forget to redeem your daily concessions. It's kind of like a my daily check in, you know? You get your daily, your, your free stream snacks. I always believed in you. Oh, okay. Weird and delicious. Yes, yes. It is very, very strange. I've, I've honestly never done one of these like DIY, 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 do it to yourself. Um, if you if you catch that reference, high five to you. If not, that's fine. You are uh, you are self. <laughs> Okay, I think I've mixed it pretty well. I don't know. I don't know what well mi like well mixed is is a very subjective term, but here it is. Um, I think it's 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 very thick. Eh. So 
You know, I think I think we did it. I think we did it. Let me let me slap a dollop of this on top of the on top of the cone here. Get that in there. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. A little bit more. Ooh. Oh, 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 okay. I've never scooped ice cream before. This is my first time. I think. Ooh, ooh. I can't really like turn it sideways because I feel like it's gonna gonna fall, but Oh, 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 it's falling. It's falling. Oh, oh, we're keeping it. Okay, there. <laughs> we did it. We made our own tiny little iced creams. So, uh, cheers, I guess. It smells like Bramune. Hmm. <laughs> it is Bramune. That's a good flavor. The cone is a little disappointing. It's not very crunchy. Maybe that's because I, I, maybe I need to eat these faster. Looks good. It's pretty tasty. You know, just do it. Put a couple dollops on. You know, it's just kind of like a one bite thing. You get that nice cone flavor and then some crunch. Do it. Hmm. It's not as satisfying as eating ice cream, though. It's a nice little, like, candy. I would say this is amazing for, like, kids. Well, up to a certain age, I suppose. Um, I would not do this with, like, a, a baby. But, you know, younger kids who can actually, you know, they have decent grasp of motor skills and um, understand how to, you know, read. <laughs> <laughs> follow instructions. This would be fun, you know? It's very simple, and all you need is a little bit of water. All right, last one. Cheers, chat. Hmm. That was fun. But now it's got me craving, like, actual ice cream. The taste itself, if you've ever had anything Ramune flavored, which is a very distinctive flavor in Japan, um, it is most commonly known for the like marble sodas or the, the bottled sodas that have the marble as a as a stopper that you gotta like smush down. That is that is the I'd say the most known thing. Um that is that flavor. But that flavor is like all over the place. There are that flavor of like candies, like like the one I just ate. Um, uh, uh, other other like ice creams, um, other snacks like cookies and crackers and stuff that have like ramune filling. It's a good flavor. It's it's like a an interesting mix. Um, well, I I don't want to say mix, but it's. I'd say to give it a comparison, if you've ever had like Sprite or or 7-Up, it's similar in terms of it's like very kind of lemony-esque, lemon-limey, but it's not the same. Um, it's definitely a flavor all its own, and it, it is one that I, I actually really enjoy as well. Uh, I love it too. The first time I ever had anything uh, Ramune was um, back when I used to live in California. There was this restaurant chain called Makuni's that uh that had these particular sodas at the restaurant that you could order and when i was a kid the waitress was like made that as a recommendation so from that point forward that was the beverage of choice whenever we went to that restaurant in california um whenever we we like found one it was it was one of our more favorite uh japanese restaurants And that's where I was first introduced to that flavor. Uh, now that I'm much older, I've, I've obviously had it much more. And uh, I've seen it all over the place, especially in Japan. It's everywhere. Literally everywhere. You can't get away from it. So that was a fun little, little treat. Uh, looks like we're going back over to the savory side of things, though. We have a sweet potato sable cookie. 
What the heck is a sable cookie? Fall is the best time to enjoy one of Japan's best snacks, roasted sweet potatoes. I can agree to that. I love sweet potatoes. There was a time where sweet potatoes made me sick, and that's not because I didn't like the sweet potato. It's because of an experience that I had with sweet potatoes that I won't reiterate here because it may be uncomfortable for people. But just, it just, you could probably figure it out. Um, there was a time when I ate something that was a sweet potato, and it didn't, it didn't go down quite so well. So I was kind of put off from sweet potatoes for a long time, but I, I've grown to love them again. I've gotten over it. Hmm, hmm. So we're, we're back to, to liking sweet potatoes. And I'm all for that delicious sweet potato -y goodness. Where are you? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that amazing package. God, this looks fancy as fuck. This looks like a before before meal like appetizer cookie or ooh, actually, no. You know what this looks like? This looks like a snack that you'd find like in a hotel, just like sitting like on the on like the table or, or the um, the dresser with like all the other little snacks or beverages. That's what this looks like. It's like stupidly overpriced if you actually eat one. Because believe it or not, those aren't for free. It's a total bait and switch. They put out all these snacks and drinks and they're like, oh yeah, totally, just take one. But then, you know, if you do, they charge you up the ass for it. Ridiculous. It's how they get you. Uh-oh. I think the cookie may have broken in travel. Oh no! My cookie is damaged! Um... Put this out. I gotta, I gotta be gentle with it. I gotta be real careful. It's a very... Oh. No, it's just very soft, I think. Oh, no. It's broken. The cookie! It's broken! Oh, it's a sad day. It's a sad day for the cookie. There it is. Try to hold up its remains. There's the cookie. Pretty standard-looking cookie. I'm curious to see what it tastes like. We got some nice bite-sized chunks out of it, though, I suppose. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Interesting. See, I definitely get it more from this. This tastes way more sweet potato than those Kit Kats. That nice, savory, but still kind of sweet flavor of the sweet potato comes through way more in this, like, butter cookie. Let me read the description. Fall for this... Fall is the best time to enjoy one of... Oh, wait, no, I already read that. This cookie tastes just like the real thing, with the sweet flavor of sweet potato and a strong hint of sesame. Sesame? I get zero sesame, sir? Or ma'am? Whoever wrote this. Uh, excuse me? Sesame? I don't even smell sesame. Now that I'm staring at it, though, I can definitely see, like, the, the black little sesame seeds in there, but they're... This does not taste of sesame at all. And if you've ever eaten sesame before, or anything with sesame, you... It's a very distinct flavor. Very distinct. Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I take it back. They're right. It does taste of sesame as well. <laughs> I think the pieces that I had eaten didn't really have a whole lot. But that big piece... Oh, yeah, it's there. Hmm, that's a... That is a... That is a really good flavor combination, actually. Sesame with some uh, sweet potato. Amazing. Amazing combination. Uh, pretty standard butter cookie flavor. Uh, very crunchy. Very buttery. Definitely tastes that sweet potato coming through. And yes, <laughs> after I took, you know, the bite that had actual sesame seeds in it and not the little two little shit bites that don't actually have sesame in it. Uh, definitely, definitely can taste that. Oh, 
Alrighty, next one. It looks like we're moving back to Sweet. With a Sour Candy Ribbon. Green Apple flavor. I love green apple. Oh, this is one of my favorite flavors for candies. If I... Though... To preface, though. I am not a huge fan of the chewy, chewy types of candies. I'm a much more, you know, I like chocolate, right? If it's got chocolate in it, I'm probably going to eat it. As far as candy goes. Uh, the more chewy, you know, uh, uh, chewy, soury stuff, uh, not as big a fan of. But if I were to have it, green apple, mmm. Chewy is too much work. I agree. Which is why I generally just like to eat chocolate. Because it's delicious. I don't have to chew it a lot. Oh boy. Yep, there it is. There, there it is. We got, we got the floppy, chewy green apple. It's pretty much what I expected. <laughs> come on. Come on. It's very shiny. Okay, stop falling over. It's it's very what do you call it floppy, I guess you could say. So, I imagine this isn't really going to taste much aside from you know green apple. Yeah, Chewy's right. Oh my god. Not bad. Not bad. That's a fun little candy. If you ever had a, a sour green apple candy, that's 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 what it tastes like. You know, it's it's they're not breaking the mold here. <laughs> it is a solid treat though. I, I would say it's less sour than I thought it would be, but I feel like uh american sour candies are they're kind of uh they're kind of in a class of their own we we really like our sour over here i i've kind of noticed uh a lot of our sour candies go a little above and beyond to give you that like real sour kick this this is very mild as far as the sour like i at first when i was chewing into it i was like this just tastes like green apple and then you know after a few minutes of me well, okay, maybe not minutes, a few seconds of me chewing. And then I could be like, oh, okay, there's the sour. Hmm. It's not bad, though. As I said, I do enjoy it. I just wouldn't eat more than one of these at any given time. You know, heck, I'd probably like if I wasn't, you know, alone down here, I, I would probably offer like half of this to, <laughs> to one of my roommates. But we're just going to kill it. We're going to kill it here because they're not that big. Hey, yo. Oh. People who like, I don't understand people who like chewy candies. Ugh, you're just sitting there chewing the same flavor for like an eternity. Hmm. I will say, though, I, this did not stick to my teeth as much. I know a lot of other chewy candies, they kind of, they, they, they like to stick on your molars when you're chewing on them. And that's always like a huge pain in the ass. And I hate dealing with that. Which is one of the few reasons why I don't like chewy candies. But that that didn't that wasn't too bad. It didn't really stick at all. It was still chewy, which I'm not a huge fan of, but Exactly. I got other things to taste. I got other candies I wanna stuff into my mouth hole. I don't wanna be sitting here for like a whole minute just chewing on the same one. These next ones, however, I feel like I'm gonna be all for. We have blueberry marshmallows. 
Hell yeah. I'm excited for these. These look amazing. I love blueberries. Experience a burst of blueberry delight in every bit of these fluffy marshmallows. They have a strong blueberry favor with the perfect amount of sweetness. Ooh, these will also be a good traveling uh, snack, I think. I just gotta be careful about how do I open it. Come on. Come on. Ah, ah shit. Is there a way I can open this without just like completely obliterating a bag? Okay, I think we got it. There we go. Ooh, yep, those are blueberries, all right. Those are definitely blueberries. Oh my goodness, are these actually blueberry filled? I thought they would be like jelly filled. Maybe they are jelly. Ooh, I almost just dropped it. Okay, there it is. You can kind of see we got a little bit of that blueberry jelly sneaking out of the marshmallow. Oh, I love the smell of blueberries. There's, it's, it's so good. It's so fresh. <sighs> Cheers, chat. Hmm. That is smooth. That is nice. I was concerned because there's always a concern. If you've ever eaten marshmallows before, there is a very distinct difference between fresh marshmallows and marshmallows that have been sitting there for a little too long. These are very soft marshmallows, which is amazing because I was also expecting there to be a bit more, you know, going on as far as the filling goes, like with the jelly. It's very subtle. You can definitely still taste the blueberry, but it's not like overpowering. You actually do get a little bit of that marshmallowy goodness, like flavor kind of layered in there. In addition to the blueberry, it, it works very well together is what I'm saying. And I am all for these little bad boys. I'm not gonna eat any more as much as I really want to because they're delicious, but that makes, that's a good travel snack, I think. Ooh, we have another one of these soft candies. A gaburichu. Gaburichu. Soft candy. Those will be good on the plane? Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I gotta transfer them to a, uh, a different plastic bag, but easy, easy enough to do. Easy enough to do. Get ready for a blast of musket grape flavor. Muscat? What the heck is muscat grape? Almost like you pick some fresh yourself. This chewy, stretchy candy. Oh, not another chewy candy. To have your bullet train journey. Okay, all right, let's see it. Where are you? Is this it? This is it. Here's the packaging. Whoop. It is decidedly smaller. Hopefully it's not as chewy. Muscat is similar to green grape. Oh, okay, oh, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. I actually really like green grape. More so than I like purple grape. Or red grape, I guess. It's the same thing. But uh, I do prefer green grapes over, over its redder variant. Whoa. Yup, that definitely smells of grape. Holy, that is, that is very artificially grape flavored. <laughs> and very green. It's like Shrek skin green. Green grape superiority. Yes! Yes! Ray knows. Ray's a real one. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so this is like taffy. Ugh. Flavor wise, I'm digging it. But the fact that I have to chew it. <laughs> It's losing points. <laughs> Flavor, 10 out of 10. The snack itself, it gets like a 2 because it's literally just taffy. Which I'm not a fan of. I don't like taffy. It's too chewy. 
This is exactly that. I ain't having any more of that. <laughs> at least not now. Maybe, maybe tomorrow at some point. When I'm sitting here doing work and I don't have anything else to do. Yeah. I need some of this. I need to wash it down with some more citrus. <sighs> That's the stuff. There we go. Okay, I'm definitely feeling more energized than uh, when I started stream. <laughs> this could be a problem. This could be a problem. I may have trouble going to sleep later tonight. Oh boy. I may have to do something about that. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, we have the ramen now. It's the Ito Men Seafood and Veggie Broth Ramen. Eat ramen like Naruto with this savory seafood and veggie broth ramen flavored with umami soy sauce. We highly recommend using a narutomaki or sliced fish cake as a topping for a real ninja feel. Let's see. How involved is making this ramen? About five minutes? Hmm. I kind of already ate dinner. I always forget there's ramen in here. Where is it? There it is. So far, so far, I have not been disappointed by the ramen that they send me. It's all been good. I haven't eaten it all on, on stream, but they always, they always send a pack of ramen. I always forget. It doesn't help that I, I get these like every month and it's just like, oh yeah, what's in the box? And it's just like, oh yeah, there's ramen. Um, <laughs> Should save the ramen for rainy day. Yeah, that's I do like doing that. Um, actually, uh, what was it? It was last. Um, was it Sunday? I think. It was either Sunday or Monday. I think it was Sunday. I uh, they sent me a ramen that was meant to be eaten not in a broth. You cook up the ramen and then there was like a, a seasoning packet that you sprinkle over it. And what I actually did to kind of enhance that was I also had some Chinese food left over. Um, it was a spice. It was a hot garlic sauced chicken, uh, which actually came with a bunch of stuff. It's not it wasn't just chicken. There was chicken, bamboo shoots, onions, carrots, seaweed. Um, uh, what what are they called? Those those uh like bean sprouts, I think. It was a very vegetable rich chicken, so I was like, "Ooh, this is perfect! I can heat this up in a pan, put it on top of my ramen, and I have an Asian pasta." It was actually really good. I should post that picture on on Twitter now that I think about it. <laughs> but yeah, I used the ramen packet that came with um, Tokyo Treat. Because it didn't require a broth. This one, it does have a broth. So maybe I'll have this for dinner tomorrow night. Because I, I don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow night. Um, I gotta I gotta pack and get ready for <laughs> travel the next day. Because I'm gonna be traveling pretty much. I'll, it's gonna be a long day. A long day for me. Because not only am I gonna be in the air for eight hours, I'm also going technically eight hours ahead. So I'll be leaving on Thursday. But I won't be getting to the destination until Friday morning. And that's that's going to feel weird. So I'll save this for later for sure. But there's a very good chance that I'm going to enjoy this ramen. They haven't let me down so far. This is my seventh box. Seven ramen wins. You know, I, it's the, the numbers are good. So I, I imagine this one will also probably be pretty tasty. Oh, I did see that correctly. Yes! Yes! They sent me more of these wasabi chips! Yes! This was in one of the, this was in the first, literally the first box that I got. They sent these things. I loved these. These are so fucking good. I'm so excited. Oh, I get to have some more. Yes! Oh, sniffer. Yes! Oh, that's the good stuff, baby. That's the good stuff. No! It's... it's no! 
didn't know. It's been shredded. It didn't survive the trip. Oh, you poor bean. Look at that. It's all apart. No. Oh, you poor things. That's okay. Daddy's got you. Oh, no, I gotta be real careful opening this. Oh, I don't want this to fly all over the place. That would be a huge waste. Oh, careful. 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 Okay. Okay, we got it. We got it mostly open. Oh, ha. Salute. C can we get some salutes to chat for this? The, the, the loss of these crack, these cookies, these crackers, they're crisps, right? Yeah, these potato crisps. Oh, it's a sad day. They didn't survive the trip. <laughs> mm. They're still delicious, but damn. Oh, Ooh. those are, oh, yeah. Those got some kick to it. Ah, that's what I like. Ah, delicious. So good. So crispy, so crunchy, so spicy. Mm. If you're not a fan of wasabi, or you don't like spice in general, these aren't for you. These have one hell of a kick. It doesn't last very long, granted. Like, it gets you with a, it's like a quick jab, and then it disappears. But, oh, it's so tasty. I love the... Because it's not just wasabi. Uh, definitely not. There's definitely soy sauce covering these crackers. That's what gives it this, like, kind of goldeny crisp look to it i'm very tempted to redeem hot sauce <laughs> well he, you wouldn't be the first um belzy has already redeemed both uh hot sauce and a spicy bean so mm. these are so good oh i'm stupid you know what i should have done because I've technically already reviewed this snack. I should have just let it be. And I should have just taken this on the plane with me, unopened. Although, hmm, seeing the state it's in, hmm, I don't know. I, I feel like it would have been, a, it would have been potentially a, a horrible mistake. Because, you know, at least here, sitting in my chair, I can control it. You know, I can be very precise with opening the package. Well, I'm on the plane. God knows what could happen. I could have a kid kicking in the back of my chair the very second that I try opening this thing. I could get hit by a big old patch of turbulence and then send these little cookie crisp flying all over the aisles. Could be a mess. Mm. So good, though. Oh, I'm savoring every moment of this. Sorry, Chad, I'm having a moment here. I'm having kind of a thing. Let me just enjoy it. I haven't had these in seven months. It's a happy reunion. Despite the fact that they are broken. I still love you, little crackers. Ah. Oh. Oh. Delicious. Wonderful. Heavenly. Oh, you know what? This would be oh let's let's have a taste of the, the sip. Mm -hmm. Oh that's good. That's a nice flavor compliment, I'd say. That orangey tang with the, the spice of the wasabi. Ooh, it balances out nicely. Ah. Okay. Now that we're done with that, <laughs> now that I've had my moment, we move on to the Lucky Fish Adale Crackers. Adalala. 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 Fish Crackers. Okay. Very nice, very colorful. Looks like a snack that you'd find like at a carnival, I'd say. Or in a in a Degashi shop in Japan. Uh, Degashi, uh, for those of you who don't know, who don't, where did that come from? Who don't know what a Degashi shop is? It's basically 
uh, I guess to put it in the simplest of terms, it is a very cheap, like, candy slash snack store uh, in Japan. Kind of like a convenience store, but it only sells, like, snacks and candy. And it's it's usually for, like, less than a dollar, essentially. It's, it's, it'd be hard-pressed to find anything more than, like, 100 yen in a Dagashi shop. All right, so we got some fish crackers. I don't smell that fishy. Huh. Is that Jojo I hear? Hold on. <laughs> I I am not sure if that was jo that sounded just like Jojo. Hold on, go back. What is this? Oh, <laughs> Luffy Fruits music. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, how do I how do I share this? Oh, I know. Here, here's the song. You can find it on Spotify. That's amazing. <laughs> it looks like it's it's um shoot, I forget what his name is. I haven't I haven't watched the uh this um season of JoJo. I know, I'm behind. But um it's it's him with the yellow hair but as like a watermelon. It's kind of hilarious. All right. <laughs> well, let's try some of these fish crackers. Gotta love the JoJo. Rolled out, yeah, exactly. Rolled out of nowhere. Just lo-fi lo JoJo music. Who would have thought? Okay. So is this supposed to be like an Asian goldfish? Because that's kind of what it looks like. Look at this little guy. It looks it looks like a goldfish, but it's it's like a cracker. It's it's got kind of like a curve to it. So it's it's very similar to those like rice crackers that you find in stores in um like Asian markets and stuff. But it looks like a fish. It looks like a little a little fish from a certain angle. Doesn't really smell that fishy though. I expected it to smell more fishy. I wonder if it's gonna taste more fishy. So here we go. It's crunchy. <clears throat> mm. It honestly doesn't... It doesn't really have that much of a flavor to it. It's just kind of like a crunchy snack. Hmm. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's let's read let's read the description. Let's see what this flavor is supposed to be. These cute little fish-shaped crackers are modeled after sea bream, a fish that brings good luck in Japan. Perfectly salted with a light seafood flavor, these fish crackers are a great good luck charm. Okay, light is a bit of an understatement. I I don't taste any seafood flavor on these at all. They're tasty. Whatever this flavoring is, well, okay. It, it's, I know it just, I just said it's seafood, but I don't taste it. I can't really place what it, what it reminds me of. Because it definitely doesn't taste like seafood. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Hmm. Oh well. They're tasty. Maybe my tongue is not sophisticated enough to really like pick out the subtle seafood flavor of this snack, but it it just tastes like a it's just an interestingly flavored crunchy snack. 
I don't know. Also make for a good travel snack. Mm. For sure. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited for this one. This next one. This is a flavor that I know I'm familiar with. Okonomiyaki corn puffs. Yes, I love okonomiyaki. It's so good. It is, for those, okay, if you don't know what okonomiyaki is, it is very Japanese. It is a, uh, let's see, what's the best way I can describe it? It is a savory pancake. Um, I think that's the best way I can really put it. But it's it's not like just pancake. Which style do you prefer? Mm, I've really only had, I think, the one. There are a bunch of bonito flakes on top. You're a Hiroshima girl. Oh, I don't know what the style is that I had. I don't know what the difference would be, so I, I, I honestly couldn't say. I don't know if I've had both. Um, I only had it the one time when I was in Japan last, so. It was good, though. I really enjoyed it. But it's like noodles with like a batter on top and it usually has like bonito flakes or um, like a like a savory like mayonnaise spread on it. Uh, it's like mayonnaise soy sauce. I, I, God, I don't even really, like teriyaki maybe. But it's thick. It's like a thick. You can kind of you can kind of see on the packaging. It's a little difficult, but it's got a nice like thick, dark sauce. It goes on. It's really tasty. Uh, it goes really nicely with the uh, the noodles and the batter. So it looks like this one. What does it say? What is the so this? Uh... Oh, yeah, <laughs> I can also just read the description and uh, that gives it gives it good. But okonomiyaki are savory pancakes and are a perfect meal for a fun camping trip in Mount Fuji. These light and crunchy puffs are flavored just like the okonomiyaki sauce. Yeah, so they have a very they have a very distinct sauce for them. I don't know what it is. Again, because I've only had it the once. But I really liked it. I really liked it. <clears throat> and I haven't found a good place uh, nearby that that makes it. Because it's kind of it's. I don't know if it's like particularly difficult to make. I I just think it's like. It's very specialized. Um. So I, I feel like you wouldn't really find a whole lot of play unless it's like super authentic Japanese food that would serve okonomiyaki. You find them at like everywhere in Japan, though, uh, mostly in like smaller restaurants, you, uh, anywhere that has like a, a hot hot plate or a grill probably probably does okonomiyaki. Really good, though. Really good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> There's that delicious smelling sauce. Oh, that's good. I'm going to enjoy these. That's that's good shit. Oh, sorry. I forgot to show you, but it's just a corn puff. It's not that exciting what the snack looks like, but it tastes. Oh, it's delicious. It makes me feel like I'm eating it when I'm not. I know I'm not. Just a little bit, you know, if I close my eyes and I really think and I, I try not to I just, you know, I take a, a nice whiff of the bag. Oh, yes. Like it's right in front of me, steaming hot or fresh off the grill. Uh, take a bite. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Another really nice plain snack. Slash, you know, off the plane snack. Like, because unfortunately, I do have a layover. I tried, I tried to get direct, but the airport that I am landing in in uh, the UK, I have to, I have to get a layover first before then. So. I'll have plenty of stuff to kind of munch on while I'm in the terminal. Just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Is that everything? I think that was the last thing. I think we got through it all. 
Nice. Apparently, though, uh, there is a weirdly wonderful wasabi uh, kind of thing as well. Oh, so, okay, so here, here's some fun facts about Mount Fuji, I suppose, or a fun fact. Uh, apparently, the birthplace of wasabi was right next to Mount Fuji. Uh, you can find a wasabi-flavored Ramune soda, wasabi-flavored Kit Kats, or wasabi-flavored ice cream. Whilst in Japan. They really do like to season everything with wasabi. To some degree. But hot damn. We did it. We did a chat. We made it through another... Whoa, where'd I go? We made it through another month of delicious snacks. Now, if I were to rate my favorites, the Okonomiyaki corn puffs, delicious. These chocolate almond crunch things, also fantastic. Ooh, this green tea... Um, Tea cake. This green tea cake is def honestly, this is definitely up there. This is top three for me. It's so good. Mm. It's so smooth. It's like it's like eating a tea cake while drinking tea, but without the tea, you know, because the tea's in it. <laughs> So good. So good. We're gonna have so much matcha stuff. All right. Say goodbye to the handy cam. <laughs> it's going away. Mm, 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 mm. Another satisfying box of snacks all the way from Japan. We had a few in there that we'd had before. I had a bunch of new stuff, a bunch of cool things that I hadn't tried before that uh, I'd say the most interesting thing was definitely that DIY ice cream. <laughs> that was that was fun. Not my favorite flavor wise, because it was it was pretty one note. And the honestly, when it comes to cones, um, it's got to be crunchy. It's got to have that like rigidity to it you know when you bite into it it's got to have that nice crunch if you get that like soggy kind of paper feel that really puts me off and unfortunately those cones kind of kind of did that they felt they felt really firm but as soon as they like were were consumed it it had that kind of stale not not really like taste but like feeling I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. If you've eaten like a, like a, not, uh, what do you call it? Ripe? No, that's, that's not a good word. Ripe, uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Fresh. A fresh cone. Yes, that's the word. A fresh cone. That has that good crunch to it. It's no good. Which is why I generally like to go with the waffle cones, because those are those are usually like always solid. Uh, you can't really go wrong with a waffle cone. The the other cones, the the more like soft serve cones, those can be kind of hit or miss depending, because you never know how long those have been sitting, you know, out or wherever they're stored, collecting, God knows what, God knows where. Hmm. Oh, yeah, waffle cone bowl. Oh, oh, those are great. Those are wonderful. Well worth the added like two or three dollars in order to get one, I would say for sure. Um, yeah, definitely since I've gone back to being able to eat uh, gluten stuff, glutinous things, 
uh, you bet your bottom dollar that every time I go out for ice cream, we're getting that waffle cone. Scooch over just a little bit. Ah. Oh, actually, duh, I forgot. The wasabi snacks. No, those are still number one for me. Those are still number one. I absolutely adore those snacks. It is a perfect level of savory, spicy, just crunchy deliciousness. All the things that I love in my mouth in a nice, tasty snack. Mm. Those take the number one spot. The Okonomiyaki puffs, those are probably number two. It, it's it's tough because i really like that flavor but i am such a sucker for chocolate these like chocolate chunk almond snacks Ooh, i don't know i might have to put these above the okonomiyaki just just by a hair just by a hair i think the coffee if they didn't have coffee in them i definitely say they're a solid number three but, but with the addition of coffee, definitely bumps it up. Uh, let's see. The potato chips and the fish snacks, those are pretty on par, I would say, as far as flavor. Pretty standard, but still good. Uh, the tea cake was also is, is up there, I should say. That's a solid, like, three or four. If we're just talking sweets, that thing takes, like, the number two spot. If we're talking overall, it's, it's, up, it's up there. Kit Kats, ah, eh, they're Kit Kats. You know, it's it's matcha flavored. It's nothing fancy. It's pretty standard. So those those I enjoy, but I would definitely like consider these other snacks a little bit higher on the tier list. And then the the blueberry snacks are also pretty up there. The blueberry marshmallow snacks, a solid addition, and very fragrant too. Mm, I love that smell. Blueberry, the smell of blueberries is something about it is just, it's divine. It's delectable. I love it. <laughs> energy drink, energy drink's pretty solid. It doesn't give off that energy drink taste, which always puts me off. So one of the, one of the few things, like most energy drinks, I... I'm not a huge fan of. I, if I really need one and it's like the only thing around, I I can do it. But definitely like bottom of the list as far as preference goes. 100%. Ah. So with that, I'd say it's time to call it a night. That's all I really had planned for the evening. Um... Once again, I won't be streaming tomorrow like I normally do because I got to get ready for traveling. As I mentioned earlier, I will be going over to the UK, meeting up with some sick people, some awesome individuals that I am super looking forward to meet. Bumming around the UK, going to Scotland, going to London again. Last stream in November. Yep, this is my last stream of November because I'm going to be gone for all of next week. And uh, yeah, I won't be back until after the second. So you won't actually be seeing me again until what day is that? The fifth? Yeah, two weeks from now. Two weeks without me. I know. I know. How will you how will you survive? <laughs> It's okay. You can always check out my VODs. I do try to keep them up to date. <laughs> so if you ever if you're ever missing that little bit of Zayden in your life, you can always go to my YouTube channel. Um my VOD YouTube's uh check out some of those. I've been keeping it more or less up to date with some of my newer stuff. I know I've been meaning to add some of my older stuff back to it. It's just it takes a while. <laughs> But we'll get there. We'll we'll get some we'll get some of the older stuff up and running again. So until then, um yeah, I hope you guys have a have a good Thanksgiving. If you're American, you're here in the States, you know, if you have any travel plans for Thanksgiving, I, I hope those go well as well. Uh whether it be for family, you're going to meet some friends. Just have some amazing food, even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. 
have a have a good meal this weekend. Because I, I, I feel like you, you always deserve at least one amazing meal every now and again. And Thanksgiving's a good time for that, for sure. At least in America. I know it's a little different over uh, across the way, but you, you, have other, you have other holidays, I suppose. But yeah, um, let's see. Where shall we send you for the evening? Where shall I drop you off? Thanks for stream. Yeah. I'll be sure to take a bunch of pictures. Um, my uh, card, the link up there, uh, has all my socials. So if you want to follow my travels, uh, be sure to follow me on the Twitter. And you can, you can see what I'm up to while I'm over across the pond, as one says. But I am looking forward to it. Let's see. Where do we want to go? What do we want to do? Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Who's online? All right. All right. We have a couple people. Yes, that I see. Hmm. Good. Wait, you're streaming again? Hold on. What? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> thanks, guys. I'll be sure to be as safe as I can be. Okay, I think... I haven't been over here in a while. Wait, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back. There you are. What are you doing? Did you just start? Please tell me you just started. Oh, you just started. Ha 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 ha! Perfect! Okay, we're going over here. I don't know what they're doing, but... uh Oh! Oh! Actually, perfect! Okay, I hope you guys like... um Yakuza. I think that's what they're going to be playing here soon. It looks like part one. So it's just starting off. This is excellent. But uh, we're going to be we're going to be I'm going to be sending you to a quiet, uh, a quiet Sai or just Sai Gorgon VTuber. Uh, I think they're going to be playing like a dragon, the new one. Um, right. The man who erased his name or some such, I think. That's the title. It's it's kind of long. I don't know. The, the Yakuza games, they're starting to get to that point where they're almost like light novel status in their titling. I don't know. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Um, but I think I think Yakuza takes place. Where, where does it take place? Doesn't it take place in, in Tokyo somewhere? Like um, Shinjuku or something? I don't know. I don't know where the like of dragon where the setting is if anybody knows uh let me know i'm curious um when i think of a raid message you think so something like that right somewhere in tokyo maybe shinjuku because i feel like i've seen the red light district um from shinjuku that that sign that sign is is like iconic for the red light district in Shinjuku. Quote unquote red light district. <laughs> um, so let's see. Uh, ooh. You know what? Let's just do let's just do because I feel like most of these snacks, you know are very, uh, 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 you know, uh, enjoyed by all, one and all. Um, I need a... Is there not, a, is there not a, like a cracker? Like a rice cracker? Oh, perfect! There it is. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, Yakuza Snack Raid. It fits. It works. So 
if you'd like to copy and paste that into the chat. There we go. Uh, but, but, but any other quick things before we get on out of here? I think that about does it. Appreciate y'all for hanging out with me and enjoying these tasty snacks from across the sea. I wish you all a wonderful rest of your evening, afternoon, or morning. Wherever you hang your hats, wherever you rest, those weary souls, I wish you well. And I'll see you in a couple weeks. But until then, ciao for now. Farewell, everyone. Oh, we have some we have some smooth hollow live music sending us off. Interesting. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I love you. I should probably copy my own raid message. Take care.